Hi everybody, my name is Teacher Asan and this is calendar time. How are you all? How was your weekend? Mine was pretty quiet. I was able to go to sleep and eat very, very, very healthy food, especially fish. <laughs> now, we are going to talk about the calendar behind me and we're going to count um, and find out what number is behind this yellow question mark. Are you ready to figure that out with me? Wonderful! Did you know that this is our last week of school? Which means after this week, after we reach this last day over here, we will be taking a very long break. And that long break is called summer. I hope to see you during summer classes, okay? Well, now let's begin. Hello, 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 how do you do? I'm glad to be with you. And you and you and you. Tra la 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 la. 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 Hi everyone. Let's figure out what the number behind this yellow question mark is. Do you remember how we do it? <laughs> That's right. We are going to count from one and stop when we reach the yellow question mark. How do we count? What number do we begin with? That's right. We begin with the number one. Can we do this? Yes, we can! Let's do it! For this week, I will just use a normal wooden stick. Alright, let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and then. 19. 19 is the number in between 18 and this other card, which is 20. If you guessed 19, you're right! <laughs> this yellow board has the number 19 on it. There is a 1 on the left side and a 9 on the right side. Do you know how to write 1 and 9? Well, in order to do that and in order to teach you, I'm going to erase this number 19 from the yellow board with a finger, which is exactly the same strokes we will need to use to write them down. So lift a finger up in the air while you trace. I will erase. Here we go. I'm going to go up and then down. That was for the number one. Next, we are going to go around, go back up, and then go down. Down! That, my friends, is how you write the number 19. And that, my friends, is how I erase number 19. In my hands are red buttons. Can you say red? Because they are the color red. And can you please say buttons? Our clothes have buttons. We use buttons so that our clothes don't show too much skin and so that the clothes stay on our bodies. Here I have an empty container and I would like that you and I count up to 19 so that not only do we know what 19 looks like or what the symbol of 19 looks like, but we also know how many or what the value of 19 is. Count along with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and we stop at 19. There you see, my friends. 
I've just counted 19 red buttons and I have just placed them inside this container, which is not empty anymore. Were you able to count with me? Yay! Let's place number 19 in between April, which is our month, and 2021, which is our year. Now it's time to figure out what day of the week 19 falls under. It is the letter M. The sound of M is M, and it stands for one of these days. Do you see the letter M? <laughs> Here it is. I see the M on this day. Let's sing the Days of the Week song to figure out what this day is. Sunday, Monday. There we go. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I heard it when I said Monday. So this says Monday. Now it's time to use this card to figure out or remember what yesterday was, what today is, and what tomorrow will be. Yesterday was Sunday, today is Monday, and tomorrow will be Tuesday. Today, my friends, is Monday, and it is the last Monday of our school year. Can you and I read the date on top and then go straight to the day of the week as we read today's date and day? Thank you very much for joining me. Have a wonderful day ahead. Bye! Thank you for watching Teacher Rosan and Starletta. I hope you subscribe to this channel and like all the videos that you see and please make your comments and suggestions so that I can improve and get better at helping you learn. I will see you soon. Bye!